Hey hello everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for another video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're going to continue this series. Uh, we, uh, when we last left off in the last video, we basically finished up, I think we finished up the Asgard, the whole Asgard thing. So uh, we're getting ready, I think uh, what we gotta do is basically head out, so wake up, basically that's all we need to do. We just need to wake up, we're probably gonna speak with the seer, tell her what happened. I think it's pretty much the end of it because we had the premonition and stuff like that. It was the exact same vision, uh, well, from so, uh, except from some tweaks and stuff from the video I showed you guys in real life and uh, animus and stuff like that. So uh, I feel like that was he had a premonition and stuff like that about the issues. We still don't know what they truly look like. Like that's in our head. They look like that, but a bunch of different issues and stuff like that they they were all gods different gods living together all together so i would I, I would think maybe asgard was actually not even a thing probably asgard was not even a thing odin and is the other gods that live with him were a thing but asgard itself probably never was a thing it boys it probably just was the world they were living in which was the same one that exploded and stuff like that uh, years ago and stuff. So I imagine that's what happened, right? Anyways, let's just go head back to the normal world, I guess. Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I saw a lot. I bound the great wolf. There we go. I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. Beast was enraged by my actions. He fought and I prevailed. But I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables. Yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... Um... A betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. He stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagap. Though you were ready for the coming storm, eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. That was the end. The Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? Oh, that's all. I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand, or I hope I do. Thank you, Valk. It was just a memory trip, just to uh, for uh, Odin to tell me that he doesn't want me to do like him. But he keeps asking me anyways to do stuff and I keep refusing to do like him anyways. So it doesn't change much. It truly doesn't, boys. So I think we're good. We're ready to head out and do this mission, boys. With Sigurd, head out to um, Norway. I don't know how long this mission or this, um, I guess, territory pledging thing is gonna last. But uh, I'm super excited. Uh, I think we're really coming up towards the end of the series, really, a lot right now. There's not a lot left for us to do, to be honest. So let's just meet up with Sigurd. I think it's time to go. Uh, we can talk to this guy, but I don't know what this, he would have to say to me. So let's just talk, boys. 
Once for all, I'm ready to go, uh, to head up to Norway, boys. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor, to Norway and well beyond? Lead the way. To Norway, then. Good, good. Lead on. Look we are, where we are, boys. We're back in Norway, right here. 80, uh, 877 CE. It truly is, isn't it? So find and speak to uh, Shitterl Burn, uh, which has got to be the Sigurd's father, right? It's been a while since we've uh, seen them. I went back on my own free time in Norway once, but didn't really do the anything there, so there's not much to see here, to be honest. There wasn't uh, ever anything to do in Norway, to be honest. Now we just got to head back, so head back to Norway. Is that going to take forever? I think it's going to take a long time. We could always fast travel there, I feel like, eh? Yeah, I think we've had, we can just fast travel there. Where's the thing at? So it's over there. We went to the sure? opposite side, boys. I was I com was uh, concentrating on the uh, the talking they were doing and stuff like that. I was focusing on their talking. It's like I was focusing on the wrong place. Is that the right area? Seems like uh, uh, like it is. So we gotta go on this side completely. Or it may be you light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame. Alright, let's go. It's over here, boys. It should be over here in that region. Alright, so we have arrived. Let's see if we got anybody here that we can talk to. We should go. Look at him. Father. By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of Tyr. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... This calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh, I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it... I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. The king owns the crown. Uh, you stole my. You stole. You stole your son's future. What has become of you exactly? Yeah, that's what my question is. And what have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what might have been. I have. I have worked hard to broker peace across our land, to spread Harald's message, unity. I heard you sleep beneath Harald's bed, always at his back and call, and that he uses your gaping mouth as a chamber pot. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how you treat those who serve you, Sigurd? You pathetic work! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I have nothing to say. 
To be honest, may you find peace. You lack courage. You didn't trust us. I'm just going to say, may you find peace. All right. I'm not going to be an asshole about it. We just say, we're just here to say goodbye, and that's all. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief, your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was sad. He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appear, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother. Not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. We have done what we came here to do. Not easy at all. Not an easy task to come back and haunt our ghosts, boys, but we did what we had to do. To my true purpose, to my destiny, to the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. You're still dwelling on your father. Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Tell me what you saw. Hardship has clouded your thoughts. We've traveled far on trust. Yeah, we've traveled very far on trust. We have come a long, long way in search of a hazy vision, Sigurd. Be careful. Good, Eivor. I would not lead you blindly into the unknown. Have faith that what I know is true and where we go is real. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but... What form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart, as pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. And now that everything is set clear, we both know that we both had visions, so... Sigurd knows as well that we had visions now, so... It's all clear to us now. So reach. Uh, let's take command. Can I take command? All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Take command. There we go. Finally. So now we gotta reach the other position side. So where are we going right now? We're we going. We're still gonna stick to Norway, or what's gonna happen here? So where are we going? Oh, we're going all the way there. Yeah. So I am gonna go have to travel on boat. This is probably one of the only areas in the whole uh, entirety of Norway that I didn't visit this is on the edge of it all right then we're almost there boys right here on the edge on the precipice of the area we're supposed to go at we're basically 
on the edge of the map right here, boys. So we have arrived. Let's see what we got right here. Let's get out of this place, boys. Uh, not open cell. Get out. Leave the command. There we go. All right, man. Me and Sigurd, we're moving. Let's get out of here. Let's see where he's leading me. This is part of the vision, though. Because in, uh, in our very first vision, remember, winter and everything, right? The snow. That was part of it. And him being there. and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down with this ship where we have need and food to warm us? No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Avon. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. Exactly. Eivor, you gotta stop questioning. You're making me feel like uh, goddamn Arthur from uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. The hell? Stop questioning your leader for Christ's sake. Be a good girl and uh, just do whatever he's telling you to do for Christ's sake, man. Or just He wants us to follow him, we'll follow him. Wherever it leads us. It is bitter cold. As long as he we doesn't betray us, we're fine. We don't need to question him. Like questioning orders is, is I hate that so much, boys. It's like you get um, you get me an order, I'll do it. I don't qu I don't ma I don't ask questions. Like do it and ask later. That's all it is, really. That's just how it works. We should work always, boys. All right, let's uh, let's keep following. This is definitely part of the mission. Uh, this is definitely part of the vision uh, that we've had before, boys. I I can feel it. Yeah, I feel like something's gonna happen here. We're probably gonna attack by a bunch of wolves. I imagine that's what's gonna happen here. We're gonna find some sort of a, a weird cave and stuff from the gods. Does he mean to actually lead us to uh, to a god, uh, a god realm, right? To another realm. That would be interesting. Okay, well, let's see what we got, buddy. We're getting close. Frozen Lake. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. We will see, Eivor. We will see. There, the cave. Within hides the sacred gate. Is that what I think it is, boys? Another cave. Another one of these Isu's cave. If that's the case, we're in for good trouble. But do, we don't even have, like... We gave away the apple. I had the apple. So we don't have an actual artifact. Unless you're hiding something from me. We don't have an artifact to enter. Can you clear it? Sure. There we go. Up to you, buddy. Let's go inside. I'm gonna follow you, buddy. Alright, so uh, you follow me, actually. If uh, anything attacks us, you never know, right? Let's see what we got right here. Alright, what is this? This is all very strange, boys. But we got some sort of stuff. So, uh, a throne room and so oh, sort, boys. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? Space above. The saga stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro turvon viborde, un solas bras gnogagide, un sum hukas reis derae chasaunsit. He can speak the gods? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. So we both had the visions after all. Interesting. So we both have the visions. Now it's what we choose to do with these, with these visions that matter. Look at Sigurd though. Wow, that's crazy. So we are in one of these temples, boys. It's another one of these. We're back at it again, I guess. Back in one of these temples again. Look at this. Yeah, this is all too familiar to me. Over here. This plate will lead us onward. Yeah, this is all too familiar. I've I've seen this before. This man died in one of these.
Sigurd. I... I don't know what to say. This is all so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. You mean to tell me that this place actually leads us to Valhalla? And where did Sigurd go, or Sigurd go right there? Oh, there he is. Was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made. That much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. I gotta say, boys, I'm very intrigued. Very intrigued about what we're about to find right here. That's the tree of life. See how proudly she sits. How beautiful she gleams. Here all the roots of life run together. Skulls will cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the old father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further to Odin's great hall. Why? Oh, look at this shit, man. The, the, the whole tree, boys. The, the world. The world tree right there. Do you feel that? We can probably travel to actually actual Asgard, but we know that Asgard burned. Their world burned, so... Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. So he plans to go in with me and travel together, I guess to other realms but the thing is we know for a fact that they died already so we're probably just gonna find a, a dead artifact or something like that yes, it is returning to me now. this ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal so that's one of those and these shining arms these branches they will grant us access to the refuge of the gods to Valhalla are you ready uh, there is danger here. What's next? No, I'm not gonna question anything. What's next exactly? Yeah, what's the next plan? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. Where is he gonna transport me? Or where is he gonna transport us? He probably means to transport us to Asgard or something. Asgard is no more. From what I think, right? Sigurd. Don't worry about it, Eivor. That's just how you get transported, it looks like. This is one of these. And I don't know who that other person is, though. Someone else is here. But someone else knew of this place. The guest has come. This is not good. This is our vision all over again, boys. Oh, there it is. Well, we've been transported to another realm or another world. I don't know where this is going to lead us at, but this is a dead end. Okay. What is this? There's the world tree. What the hell? Okay, well... I don't know which realm we're in right now, boys, but it seems like it might be Asgard. Look at this. There's the tree right there. There's the door. It seems like the big door to Valhalla. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, look at all these dead people, man. These are clearly dead people, so... Valka's mother, Svala, you have a keen eye, Wolfkis. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? 
Your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain. At long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has flown! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. Well, that means we're dead. We're not meant to be here unless we're dead, boys. So clearly, Sigurd just killed us. That was clearly just suicide, I guess. We just killed ourselves because we're in infinite Valhalla. Look at this. We are in Valhalla. Which means, that just means that we're dead, basically. And that is not a good thing if we're dead. The strength I have, huh? Alright, I'm gonna help you out. There we go, kill everyone. Kill everyone, let's go, let's have fun right here. Let's just have a, a lot of fun every time, boys. There we go. Got you big time. Kill them off. Man, them, yeah, we got a lot of strength. It gives me so much strength to be dead. Holy shit. Man, you can see all of this. It's crazy. No, you don't. How about, how about you don't? How about I attack all of you? There we go. I'm gonna keep going, boys. Just like that. There we go. Got out of them. That's crazy. Good lord. So where, uh, where, where's Sigurd? Oh, there we go. He wants to lead me. What, uh, what more do you have to show me, my guy? Sigurd, this place is incredible. Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back. For here we need not fear a thing. So we're fighting. We're fighting at our best. Both of us to get against each other. Well, you know, Sigurd, I'm definitely going to beat your ass. I have no fear. I, I took you within two blows. Took me two blows. I, I got you. Brother. Worry not, Eivor. <laughs> For we are no scars here. Only battle wisdom. The day is done. Well, we're back. What do you think just happened, my girl? He just said the day is done, so we're starting over and over and over again. That's what Valhalla is, is. That's the event, boys. That's just how it is. It it restarts over and over again. It repeats itself. That's what that's what it is. You know, it's an instant repeat. It's meant to make you feel like you're happy and stuff like that. That's just. That's just how it works every time. That's what it all. What, that's what it's all about, boys. We're dead. We're literally dead right now. Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. Let's start the fight again, boys. Once again, we're gonna fight each other to the death, I guess. We're gonna find out if we're, uh, we're immortal or not. We're definitely immortal. I mean, we're already dead. It's not the fact that we are immortal. It's the fact that we are already dead, so we can't die twice, you know? So, it is what it is, I guess. Let's keep, uh, keep killing folk. Just keep killing a bunch of folk, boys. There we go. Just keep killing a bunch of folks, boys. Get, keep getting him right there. Get him. All of them right there. I need to talk to him. Fit to tomorrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again it will be. Father, is that you? Well, a new day has become, boys. As soon as we wanted to talk to our father, of course. That Brand new day. Been my father. Of course he could have been. He's dead. Eivor, get it together, man. 
You should know by now you're dead. It's not that hard to... It's not that complicated to, to know that. By now she should know for Christ's sake. How difficult can it be? so far it is it is quite something raise your horn Eivor what stops you my father Varen have you seen him in this hall I have not should he be here no he died a coward yet by Odin's eye I swear I have seen him Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let Seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. S Sigurd, you don't get it. You may not like your father, but I like him. I've been searching for my father all my life, Sigurd. You may go away from your father, step away from him, but I'm searching for him. No matter what the realm is, whether I'm dead or not, my father will still remain a piece of my heart. You know what I mean, boys. Great warriors, have you seen Varen? Who? Varen, my father. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow never comes. We gotta find him. We gotta find our father at all costs, man. Is that him? Father, please. Don't go. Stop, don't go. Oh my god. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go to the battle, boys. Once again, we were right there. We could have talked to him right here, man. He probably forgot his name by now, boys. He probably forgot his name. Every warrior here, Craig, like, probably forgets his name over time. After every day, he forgets his name. Like, it's just normal. Let's get him. Get him, all of them. Where is he at? Where's my father at? Oh, there's Sigurd again. I need to talk to my father. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, that's a funny one, Sigurd. Wait, Father. Lost my eye, like Odin, boys. You can clearly see what's going, uh, what's going on, boys. It keeps repeating itself. It can get very boring for someone like Eivor, for sure. Uh, which she feels like she belongs in the mortal realm and not in the dead realm. She's con considering just killing herself. You have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense. I brought you someone. Look. My Eivor. There you are. What a warrior you have made of yourself. I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle. You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here. And I can do as I please. You wish to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you. 
and his clan. He died a coward. No. He, he doesn't he deserve he Valhalla. That's simple as that. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons. I'm sworn for battle. I do not want to battle anymore, my guy. I'd rather stay here. I'd rather stay here if uh, if it if it means anything to you, but uh How is all this possible? And there's look there's nobody here. Is everybody already fighting? Sigurd waiting for me, man. This entire thing is great. I love it. I love this entire conception uh of it, but yeah, clearly Alfather does not deserve to be in Valhalla, boys. The Valkyries know this. Only them. So we gotta talk to them. Be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. Your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. They're all illusions. They're all still alive. I am dead. No. It's just they illusions. can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I'd sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal. Not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie. I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid farewell to my dear Volka. And came here. I wish you well, Svala. But this is not for me. I must find Sigurd. Look, Sigurd always wanted to be here. If he wants to be here, Eivor, don't let him. Don't try and convince him to get out of Valhalla. He always wanted to be dead in the first place. He felt like he had this purpose to be in this realm. We don't need to convince him. If he doesn't want to be with us, let's just kill him off. Uh, kill all these guys. Like, if he wants to... Like, do something else, boys. There he is again. He lost an arm again. He, it keeps repeating itself. My god. It is time for me to go. This repeating bullshit. I'm done with it. The arm. Always the fucking arm. Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now and return to England. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here, powerful, capable, a god. Here I may live forever, here I cannot die. Cows die, family dies, you must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day, the same empty war. The same hollow victory. Spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle, real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it's time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? To the end of my life? Alright. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. 
Odin. Get the fuck out of my head. I swear this man will not me leave me uh, leave me alone. I went to his place and now all of a sudden he's like, ah, now you don't leave my place. You leave when I tell you to leave. Like, f shut the fuck up, man. What if I don't want to walk with you, you bitch? You're starting to piss me off, Odin. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. Fuck you. I'm going away. You really think I'm going to go with you? Think again. I'm leaving you. You're nothing to me, Odin. You gotta leave me alone for once, for Christ's sake. Alright, let's just follow you, buddy. Wherever you're leading me at, it's not gonna be a good place. What are you showing me right now? I know you're the one who saved me from death. Why is he showing me all this? You have no purpose right now, my guy. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. I don't know what he's trying to show me, boys. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. in your brief time you have earned your place here Eivor seize it I don't want to seize it I want to get out of this place it's not about earning it's about wanting to go in stand aside my people need me I have given you everything you wanted Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You didn't guide shit. You were a fly buzzing in my exactly. Head. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet you question all. You question the very gods. You are nothing, Odin. You are dead. You're just a projection. You are dead and you've been dead a long time ago, my girl. My, my guy. There is nothing you can do. Nothing you can do to stop me. Alright? You can't beat me. That's as simple as that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Attack him, attack him, attack him. There we go. Oh, we're gonna try and dodge his attacks? The fuck is this? He's cheating now. Bitch! No, you don't. You don't. No, you don't. I got you big time. You're gonna die. I don't know what's your health bar right now. It's probably more than me. I am dead. Next time he attacks me, next time he gets me, I'm dead, boys. That is not good. So if he got control of my axe, then that means he can't. He can't beat me. You should have told me earlier, then. Yeah. I got no axe, so he can't beat me. Nope. Get the fuck out of here, Odin. Coward of coward. Beggar's bastard! Stand and face me, you feeble down scroll!
me now. You are nothing. With me, wisdom, glory, power. What more do you need? Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor! Be careful! Basim! What is this? What are you up to now? Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Basim! For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth that it was So he you. is the main Templar, I imagine. It was you. I wanted all no along. surprise there. I kind of I, I, I like I told I you guys that about that, right? I I thought it was going to be him as well, the main Templar. A Templar uh, hiding as a, an assassin, interesting. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him. Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay, Sigurd? It is nothing. Go kill that background. All right. If you're fine, then I, if you say so. So he is the he is the main Templar. It looks like. I knew I knew it was gonna be the uh, the main Templar boys all this time. It was pretty clear to me from the uh, from the first time around that he was gonna be the main Templar. I got you right here. You can't hide from me. As soon as I've got my weapon, boys. As long as I got my weapon. Your Batman shit can't save you. Stop running away. Where do you think you're going? You think running away like this is going to save you? No, you don't. I, I know your techniques, my guy. I know how the assassins fight. And you're not... You're, you're far from being the strongest one of them. So, you're just a weakling. Come again, buddy. Come on, what are you doing? Get him. Get him. Right there. There we go. Got you big time with all the arrows. Got you big time. There we go. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, you don't. I got you, man. This guy, he can't do shit against me. I'm literally killing his ass. There we go. Got him. This goddamn arrows and stuff. No, 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 no. You think you can get me from there? Where is he at? Where is he at, boys? I've beaten Odin by now, boys. You think you can beat me? Oh, fuck. You've gone mad, have you? Right. The fuck is wrong with you? Okay. What the fuck is wrong? Okay. Well, all right then. Strange little boss fight right there, boys, to be honest. Really a uh, strange boss fight. I got you, though. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I see you. No, you no, you don't. I got you. There we go. All right, there we go. You want to be badass against me? That's not, that's not going to work. Don't be cocky, man. Don't start being cocky against me. You're gonna regret it. I just beat Odin's ass, by the way. So you don't want to... You don't want to mess with me, Basim. You do not want to mess with me. Let's get him. Let's go. Get, uh, get you big time. Let's go. Got him. How about I do my special? Let's go. Get him. Get him. Oh, there we go. There we go. Where is he going? Oh, my God. He keeps running away like a little sissy. What the hell are you doing, man? Fight me, you asshole. I got you, big time. You can't beat me. No, you don't. Got you. I got you, big time. Yo, this is a big boss fight right now. This definitely feels like the end of the game, boys. Holy shit. I'm gonna evade all your attacks. There you go. Stun attack. Let us make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Where are you going? Stop! Stop running away! Alright, it looks like we're gonna go after him, boys. He's going after Sigurd. He's 
he's gonna play the coward uh, the coward route because he knows he's losing so he's just gonna go after Sigurd right away all right well you know you're just being a coward at this point yeah well I think Sigurd's dead here boys he's gonna die for sure I mean uh, Basim might not be a big assassin or anything in terms of or like a Templar in that case so that big of a deal in terms of a boss fight but he's definitely more than capable of killing uh, Sigurd, especially at this uh, the shape he is in. So, we're, I guess we're just gonna have to uh, we're, we're just gonna have to handle the fact that uh, Sigurd's gonna die probably. I mean, I already see it coming. I saw it coming a miles away, uh, a long time ago, boys. I really saw it coming. All right, let's jump right there. There we go. So he's probably gonna get him already. You chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Bassem. Come. You are indeed. Let's do it. Let's do it, buddy. Defeat him. All right, once and for all, then. Let's defeat you, buddy. I gotta get you. No, you don't. Attack. Stun attack. There we go, it's gonna do a lot of damage to him. No, you don't. No, oh god, that's on. I can't dodge these attacks, man. Can't dodge these attacks, but I can do as much damage when I can, though. There we go, I got him. Defeat your ass! Ah, uh, there we go. Off you go. No! Fuck! There we go, got you. What about our friend, though? Truly no end. Say it. I, uh, I need some time to breathe. Let me see. That man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel... I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever. You always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey and I... Not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. In the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery. Courage. Wisdom. In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dad called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check. Ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength. 
and leadership. Where you go, Babel, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I, I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England. Of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Resting the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. <laughs> a tale for the ages. Brothers Keeper done. It's gonna be a longer video than uh, usual, boys. Big boss fights in this one. Now we're coming back out of the Animus as Layla. Does that mean we're done here? Is that the, the campaign is done? Coming out. Steady, Layla. I, I, I mean, it's, I guess it's done because we found what we were looking for. I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond, what about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It would be dangerous now. Heat, radiation. Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff in this one for protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. We're about to leave this place, boys. Leave uh, Eivor's resting place. We're about to leave it and go off to the actual cave that she discovered a while back. Alright, and we're gonna use the staff. Means we're gonna have a big boss fight on our hand, boys. We're gonna be using the actual staff and stuff. This is gonna be rough. If we use the staff, that means that... Uh, that's the staff of Atlantis, by the way. That means it's gonna be pretty bad real quick. Uh, we're gonna go crazy on them. I mean, uh, we're gonna be super strong and all, but uh, it's gonna be dangerous, boys. Anyways, I'll leave it for now. I'll save the big boss fight for the end, I guess. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.